We're now going to move to citizens' communication. The uh, first speaker that we have is Paul Robbins. Hi, I'm Paul Robbins. I have some new information for you. The next speaker is Julian Reyes. Julian Reyes. Mr. Mayor, yes. before Mr. Reyes starts, I did want to make a comment about what uh, Mr. Robbins brought up, and I wanted the chair of Austin Energy to be here for it. I'm interested in seeing what his information is, but I do think that we should take into account that customer, and so just something for us to take into account is probably not a surprise, so just something for us to think about. I understand. And and when someone speaks in citizen communication, we're we're limited to what we can say because it's not a topic that's been posted. So, <laughs> he so did, sometimes he did post the it is posted under what it is he was going to speak on. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Ms. Reyes. You have three minutes. Okay. Hi. Um, welcome to new city council. Um, my name is Julian Reyes. I spoke before to the previous city council and some of the members here. Um, I've spoke to most of you guys, uh, at least through electronic communications when you're running for office. And so um, you should be aware of the puppy side issue in my dog story and myself, but I'm going to recap a bit. Um, my name is Julian Reyes. I'm an Austin resident, a citizen of Austin. Um, I'm telling you a story about a man and his dog here in Austin, Texas, a place there where dogs deserve respect and the families deserve respect. Shiner and I spent thousands of hours hiking, fishing, um, working, gardening, hanging out with friends, doing art, camping at, at music and art festivals, like art outside, um, outside of Austin. He loved um, the pizza crust that I would throw to him after eating pizza. He would love to lick the yogurt lids in the morning um, when I'd eat yogurt. Um, he was just an average dog. He loved being petted. Um, he could, you could pet him for hours. He would just lean against your leg. Um, he was a small German Shepherd rescue that I rescued from uh, animal shelter in Dallas-Fort Worth area uh, nine years ago, or well, it was nine years at the time of his death. Um, he was family. Um, he was my constant companion. He gave me love. He gave me trauma support. Um, all of our animals give us trauma support and um, they're, they're family. A lot of people believe that in Austin. A lot of people have been watching my case and, and, and they're ready for the city to engage me. Um, he was taken me, taken from me by the Austin Police Department in, in an exercise of lethal force. On um, April 24, 2013, ever since then, I've been trying to uh, create change. Uh, I've done rallies, petitions, well, not petitions, I've done rallies and uh, a number of other measures. And like I said, I've petitioned the city council and the, and the, the government for a change. Um, I would like to be included in the process. I would like to know, um, I've spoken to uh, Ms. Houston in uh, 2014 about getting someone assigned to me um, to, get, to relay information between, to get me engaged in the, the council and the animal advisory committee. Um, and that hasn't happened yet. Um, I would like to know what the city council intends to do about transparency of the puppies, overall puppy side issue in Austin, that, that is the issue of police shooting um, unarmed family dogs um, by the dozens that's continuing. Um, I understand that we have training, uh, uh, dog encounter training, but we need to check the effectiveness. So I'd like to, to ask uh, what we're gonna have for open government in the new city council, how the, the citizens of Austin are gonna be treated and their animals and what responsibility and public statements that the city can give us to, to reassure us that, that they're gonna engage me and others to get this issue. It's, it's a sad, shameful issue. It's a cultural issue. It's changing the culture of our society. And it's not something that we can ignore anymore. Um, I understand there's reasons that, that uh, there may be legal reasons why people don't wanna engage me, um, but there's also legal reasons to equal access that, would, that the, the, the city uh, attorneys may not be aware of. So it actually creates more liability by, by a censoring or blocking someone who, whose dog has been shot from the process. So Thank that's you. something to consider. Thank you, sir. Any questions? Thank you for your time. Okay. The My dog's speaker. site is Support for Shiner on Facebook if you want to look me up. Thank you. The next speaker is uh, John Woodley. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And God bless Texas. 
Thank you. That concludes our citizen communication. It is 1 o'clock. Liz Lee, Activist Lizard. Namaste, y'all. Be safe.